In this video, I want to talk to you about some powerful and effective techniques for content marketing and some just general rules of thumb um, for content marketing specifically. And of course, I'm addressing video here specifically because video and content marketing just work really well together. And this would be separate and perhaps independent from um, any direct marketing video content that you'd want on your company homepage. When you do content marketing well, it should be content that adds value to your audience and asking for nothing in return. You are simply trying to leave them with a good feeling or impression about your company, your brand, and who you are. So I'll give you an easy B2C example. Um, when you're talking, let's say your company sells grills. So you don't wanna lead content marketing with a product video about all the new features and bells and whistles of your new grill. So content marketing would be, let's maybe do a video series around cooking barbecue. You can pick any number of topics around cooking and grilling, and you never once um, talk about the grill specifically, but you better believe you're cooking all of that meat on the grill and you're getting all these beauty shots of your grill and the fire and the flame and your audience may get to see uh, all the different bells and whistles of your grill without you ever having to specifically talk about it. Now B2B it can be more complicated because a lot of times companies who are selling from business to business space they deal more in the realm of ideas. So I just want you to take a step back if you are in the B2B space and uh, you wanna think of some creative ways to do video content for content marketing specifically. Uh, one thing I often tell my clients to do is to think of five really big pain points uh, in your industry that your prospects, your customers are feeling every day. And then, de then really carefully and thoughtfully develop content that is providing them with information that then they can take and, and, and use. It has to be content that is some way, somehow going to make your audience, your prospects, your customers' lives better or easier when they're done watching or listening to it. Again, the biggest takeaway is to begin and end your content marketing with the intention of providing really great information with no strings attached. And if you can do that, you'll be very successful and receive a much higher return on investment with your content marketing.